Hey guys, what is going on? This is iAppleGeek3 and throughout the years I've shown you how to get battery percentage on an iPod Touch. But for those of you who do have battery percentage on your iPod, you may not want to keep it. Perhaps you think it inaccurate or you find yourself checking it too many times in one day. So due to the many requests that I've gotten throughout the years, I've decided to make a video showing you guys how to remove battery percentage on your iPod Touch. For this video, I will be using my iPod Touch 6th generation running iOS 10. But it doesn't matter which iPod Touch you have, as long as there is battery percentage on it and you want to remove it, this video will work for you. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right in. Alright, in order to remove the battery percentage, we have to repeat many of the same steps we used to turn on the battery percentage. So you will need a Mac or Windows PC once again. If you don't have one, go borrow your friends or family members, but make sure you have permission to do so. You will also need your standard USB to lightning cable to plug in your device to the computer. And on your computer, you are going to need iTunes installed and iBackup bot. And as always, I will have links to download these programs in the description. So the first thing we're gonna do is open up iTunes and connect our device. What we're gonna do is go in here and make an iTunes backup. You can do this once your device registers by going into your device settings via this button over here. And in here you want to go ahead and select this computer under backups and hit backup now. And for your convenience make sure encrypt local backup is turned off. So if you do have a password on your backup you will want to disable it for this process. Once the backup is completed unplug your device from the computer. We do not want this thing connected while we use iBackup bot. At this time, go to your iPod Touch and go to your settings application. In here, we're going to go to iCloud and we're going to turn off Find My iPod Touch. You will not want this on. Now that Find My iPod is off, we can continue with this process. Right now, go ahead and open up iBackabot on your computer. I do have to give you a word of warning that iBackabot isn't completely updated yet. And right now, there's a lot of errors and glitches and crashing going on. So if iBackabot crashes at any time during this process, it is safe to restart. Once you're inside of iBackabot, you should see something like this with your device up here and your firmware down here. Now, you need to be very careful. You need to select which backup you just made. So today is October the 5th as of recording this video, and I need to find the backup labeled as October 5th. Do not use an old backup. So this backup I have selected right here is the one that I just made. As you guys can see, it does say October the 5th. By double clicking on this folder, you should be able to access the system files folder and you should get a search bar up here. And in the search bar, you want to type in com.apple.springboard.plist. I will have this in the description as well as on the screen. Go ahead and hit enter and you should come up with two files. Sound familiar? Here, once again, we are going to select the one that is bigger than the other one. So 3 kilobytes is larger than 507 bytes. Go ahead and double click on this file and click cancel on this next prompt. Now this huge string of code is going to show up. Don't freak out. We are not going to deal with this again. I have a better solution. Locate and click the list view tab and in here scroll down the line and look for SBS. Some of these are in a random seemingly mishmashed order but you'll be able to find SBS quite easily. And once you found SBS, look for the string entitled SB Show Battery Level. This is the file we are looking for, SB Show Battery Level. And once you found this string of code, just double click on it and uncheck this box. It's that simple. All that's left to do is to click that save button and click the close button. And then we can close out of iBackabot altogether. And now we are going to reconnect our device to our computer. That way we can restore to this backup inside of iTunes. So once you have your device connected, go ahead and open up iTunes. Again, go back to your device section and in here, instead of hitting backup now, we're going to hit restore backup. And you should always make sure that your device's latest backup is selected. Then hit restore. I'm going to go ahead and speed this up so you guys aren't bored to death. And through the magic of video editing, we are done. So once your device boots back up, you should be able to see that you no longer have a battery percentage up there in the status bar. 
All right, you guys, that'll be it for this video. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you guys have any questions, be sure to leave them in the comment section below. Also, if this video helped you in any way, shape, or form, don't forget to sit on that like button. And of course, don't forget to subscribe and become part of the Geek Squad Nation. And until next time, peace.